Let's go. What up, what up? Y'all know what time it is. Top of the top. What's popping? What's cracking? What's good? Good morning to the people. Salute to the family. And we got a show today. We got some things we got to talk about. You know, I got some things I got to speak on because I'm going to show y'all how it's getting real crazy. And guess what? Once again, hip hop has been playing us. Rap music has been making a fool out of us. I'm not going to say me because I don't take it serious because why? It's only entertainment. And we all like to be entertained, right? But what we got to understand is some people worship hip hop and they worship these rappers and they worship entertainers. And that's cool if that's your business. But we're going to talk about some things today. First of all, salute to the chat. Salute to everybody that's listening. Salute to everybody that pulled up. You understand? And without further ado, we're going to get into this. First of all, hold up, hold up, hold up. First of all, let me shout out my boy John Shaft, you dig, for the donation, and my boy Kevin Stone. You know what I'm saying? Both of them donated to the Cash App, and I appreciate that. Y'all know I got love for y'all, my brothers. And like I said, man, you did not have to do that, but y'all always find a way to try to support your boy. You dig? I'm also going to be, uh, I'm going to be checking my, uh, I'm going to be checking the super chats and um, I'm going to be giving shout outs for those as well. But right now, as of this time, I only, only um, got knowledge of the cash apps. So that's what I'm shouting out. But I will be shouting everybody out as they come. You know what I'm saying? Don't, don't get it twisted. I appreciate everything. But right now, you dig? This is the For No Fame Prime Time Episode 63. Check this out. A Queens woman has been arrested for being unvaxxed. You understand? And she got arrested at Applebee's. And I'm going to be talking about that. I'm also going to be talking about the Freddie Gibbs and Jim Jones situation. I'm also going to be talking about, once again, the Meg Thee Stallion and Tory Lane situation. Because I'm going to show you how both of these two situations of rappers are playing games. That's why we in a time of distraction. And for those who've been watching the news and paying attention, you know it's real news that's going on to keep you distracted from. You know what I'm saying? So without further ado, let's get, let's get into this real quick. You dig? And the first story... I'm going to get into is the woman who has been arrested for protesting outside of Applebee's. And actually what happened is she, I guess she wanted to have her way and go inside of Applebee's, but she's been brought, she's been arrested. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to get into this story real quick. They say it's not certain what happened, but New York city police are seen arresting a black woman who was trying to purchase a meal at a Queens Applebee's. Her crime was that she was unvaccinated. Police reminded the woman it's the law. The woman claims to have also lost her job in the New York City school system for being unvaxxed. She says, I can't work, can't eat, she told police as they were slapping on the cuffs. I want to eat. That's what she said. She want to eat. You guys are busting me over this BS. So there you have it. There you have it. We've been having these talks. And, and what you got to understand, for those who don't know, when you see it happen in New York first, eventually it will happen all over America. But this is where we're at. This is where we're at right now. Whether you like it or not, whether you believe it or not, whether you agree or disagree, this is what's going on. So this woman had worked for the city of New York. That means she had a pension. She had benefits. 
she was making probably, you know, decent money, you know, you know, decent money working for the city, working for the state. You know what I'm saying? Paid summer. You know, a lot of times we look at teachers and we say they're underpaid, but the only thing we got to remember about teachers, they get paid during the whole summer when they're not, you know, even when they're not working, they get paid. But they are underpaid for what they got to put up with these kids. You know what I'm saying? That's what you got to understand. They are. But this woman, you know, it was her own free will on her not being, you know, vaccinated. And she says she lost her job over that. You understand? And um, there's other jobs out here you can get that don't qualify that. But like I told y'all, if you're in that category, you need to be starting your own business up. You know, you need to be starting up a business where you can work from home. That's, that's what you need to be focusing on. Not just work from home, but you need to be focusing on starting your own business if you don't want to comply with the stipulations. You understand? And even then, you might still have to comply, but at least if you start your own business, you could feed yourself, you could take care of yourself, and you won't need nobody, you know, to help you pay your bills, meaning you won't have to go be forced to do something that you don't want to do. You understand? And it's, it's really not being forced. It's just a choice. You know, either you want to do it or you don't. If you don't want to do it, you got to have a plan B. Like, when I didn't want to work, I chose to hustle and make money other kind of ways. You understand? That's just, that's my life story. You know what I'm saying? It's just that it's a new day and time now, and we all have to change. You know what I'm saying? We got to change for the better. I mean, we got to change our ways. But I'm not talking about a negative aspect or a street aspect. I'm just saying, if you are a person that's tired of working a nine to five or working, or you, you have to start your own business. You have to generate your own revenue because you have to be your own boss. Therefore, nobody can tell you what you got to do, what you can't do, and what you can do. You understand? Because some of us, we don't like authority, and I'm one of them. I don't like authority. I respect authority, but I don't like authority. I don't like depending on nobody, and I don't like being told what to do. That's just a fact. You know what I'm saying? But I do know how to humble myself, and that's the whole key to a lot of things. I know how to humble myself so I can better myself. You know what I'm saying? And that's just what it is. But like I said, this woman, she tried to purchase a meal at Applebee's and, you know, she couldn't come in. Whatever the situation was, she got arrested because the key word is the police reminded the woman it is the law. So we see what's going on that eventually, yeah, it's Applebee's, but eventually, what did I tell y'all? I told y'all before, for those who've been tapping in, I told you, they're going to, if you don't want to comply, they're going to make it like you're a criminal. It's going to be like you're a criminal. It's like, it's going to be like you're anti-American. You understand? This is what they're doing. This is what's going on. You understand? Because it, they're trying to make it where you look like a person that don't want to live by the rules. You want to do what you want to do. And like I told y'all, we had this conversation before. When you have a baby in the hospital, they take your baby from you. It's nothing you can say or do about it. And, if, and, they, and they give your baby certain types of medicine. Before you put your child in school, you have a choice of putting them in public school or homeschooling or private school. But to put them in public school, what has to happen? They have to have their shots. And it's all your choice. Also, what happens, okay, say you don't get your child their shots for school and you just keep them home for no reason because you don't want to get them their shots. They're going to try to say you're an unfit parent and that's child neglect because you're not letting your kids go to school and get an education. For those who can't afford private school, you understand, or homeschooling. These, these type of things been in the play. It's just that now they're being put on adults. You understand? For those in the medical field, certain jobs, y'all know you have to get a TB shot, whether you like it or not. You always had to do that. You know, you went to school, you got your um, you know, you got your you got your, your MA, your RN, you know what I'm saying? Your LPN, 
CNA, all these type of degrees, all these type of trades, but you knew before you can work in any medical facility or hospital, you had to get what? That TB shot. Am I lying or am I correct? So my, I'm just showing a point how these things have always been in effect. It's just that this is where we at right now. They're going to make it where you're not going to. It's Applebee's today. Tomorrow it's going to be your supermarket. It's going to be every part of your life. You're not going to be able to. As soon as it's going to be, you can't get on a public train. You can't get on a public bus. You can't rent a car. You can't get on a plane. You can't go to the shows. You can't go to the movies. You can't go shopping in the store. These are all things that, that are going to take place eventually. So when you see it happen in New York, just know it's going to happen in the future. And it's also going to happen in a city near you. And that's what I'm trying to tell you, whether you like it or not. This is the new world we in right now. You understand? And some will call it the new world order. And we know about the people that exist. But what I want you to do is use your own mind and break all those words down. You understand? New means opposite of old. You dig? What's a world? The world is always the current life you are living in. Like you, like you heard us saying, we're from two different worlds. We're from two different lifestyles. That's the world. A order is how things must go. Because without order, it is chaos. So I'm not speaking no spookism. All I'm trying to tell you is we in a whole nother world now. Like in the 70s, they wore bell bottles and platform shoes. See, I got to give examples. You know, in the 80s, they dressed it a certain way and did things a certain way. You understand? Wore hot top fades and big earrings and, you know what I'm saying? Tight leaves. <laughs> certain things that was in style and sheepskin. My point is, you're not going to wear nothing from the 80s now. You're not going to wear nothing from the 70s now. Because what? Times have changed. It's a new world compared to the 70s and the 80s. Just like in the 90s. We know about what took a, a, the, the 90s was different from the 80s and the 70s. I'm, I'm just giving examples of how life is always going to evolve. And you have to know how to evolve with it. You know what I'm saying? And can't nobody make you do nothing. But this is what's going on. So salute to this woman, you know, for standing on what she believed in. But it's sad to say that this woman... She was arrested and she was not able to enter Applebee's. And that's where we at right now. You know what I'm saying? So I just wanted to show you how y'all already know I've been talking about this, how they're going to be looking at individuals that don't want to comply. They're going to be looking at you like you're a criminal. Because I told you, you do have a lot of people that do in, in, indulge in criminal activities that they're not going to comply with this situation and some of them can't because they um they're not supposed to even be in this country and then you got some that's like if you got you know warrants probation violation those people can't go get uh vax because it's going to set off red flags but we neither here nor there the point is the woman was arrested because she was unvaxxed you know what i'm saying and that's that Moving right along. Check this out. Like I said, they all playing games. They say that Jim Jones is naming his new album after the restaurant where he got into a fight at with Freddie Gibbs. And this was re released by Complex. Y'all know about Complex. Complex released, released this information. And they say he's going to call this album Prime 112. Now, I don't know if this is hype or not about the title of the album, but it is proof that Jim Jones is dropping a new album. And this was hype, like I told you, a publicity stunt. And, and, and Jim Jones, he's trying to redeem himself and his career. This was also set by Hitmaker. Y'all know Young Bird. Hitmaker's supposed to be the one working on Jim Jones' album. So that's what I'm trying to tell you. Like, these are stories I don't want to report on because they're lame and I know half of them be fake, but this is entertainment. 
And I'm going to be real. If I was to really go about how I feel about certain news, I wouldn't be doing the show and that would be wrong to y'all because that's why I always say it's really nothing to talk about. So when I when I sit here and look at stuff, I got to talk about nonsense sometimes just to entertain the people. You understand? And then, you know, drop little jewels in between. But really ain't nothing funny. Ain't nothing, ain't, ain't nothing really to laugh at because I know all this is BS. And it also proved that this fight was BS. Freddie Gibbs announced the Space Rabbit tour. And he's going to be doing 20 plus shows. And he's also going to be, you know, having Jay the Kiss down with him. You see, remember I told you that Freddie Gibbs really be on his hip hop type of swag? Well, here he, this, this was promotion as well for his show. All the shows he's about to do. Because I told y'all on the other episode previously that Freddie Gibbs does have a cult following and a lot of people do support him and he always on tour. I told y'all that yesterday. And this is before I knew he had the Space Rabbit tour lined up. And he's going to be doing over 20 plus shows in America and overseas. And Jada Kiss and others are going to be featured on his, on his on these tours and everything. You dig? Because yesterday or early today, Freddie Gibbs posted a picture of himself smiling ear to ear with no bruises on his face, period. Then you got to understand the link. Jim Jones is cool with Jada Kiss. I just seen a video two weeks ago, Jim Jones and Jada Kiss did on, on somebody track. I forgot the dude's name, but they both feature on this underground rapper track in New York. So we know that Jim Jones and Jada Kiss is cool. Jada Kiss is featured on Freddie Gibbs' latest album, which dropped a couple weeks ago. And, and Jada Kiss is going to be going on tour with Freddie Gibbs. So let's look at this situation, right, that nobody has the footage to. But one thing we do know, Freddie Gibbs posted a picture of himself smiling on IG with no blemishes on his face at all. And he's going on tour. Jimmy's dropping an album, Fre Freddie Gibbs going on tour. So I'm, I'm trying to show you how they be playing games. They get you worked up, caught up in the hype. And the whole time they planned it out behind the scenes. These are the games they play. I told you, man. That's why I've been dropped the situation with hip hop been playing us. But they was playing us since the 80s. They've been playing us with a whole bunch of stuff. I'm not going to get into that right now. So moving right along also to the next monkey show, the next hype, the next reality TV show. You dig? And it's back to what I was talking about the other day, which we got to speak on again, is they say that Megan Thee Stallion is facing backlash. They're supposed to be coming for her. And they're calling her Megan Smollett. You understand? Like, like Jesse, they're calling her Megan Smollett. Because a lot of people feel like she's capping about this whole situation. And like I said, from the, from the beginning, I have my opinion on it. And what, and, and what I say, this is all media hype. It's all a hoax. But we have to remember, if it is a hoax, the law enforcement is down with it. Because remember, I just told you in court, a, a LAPD detective have spoken out on this case and said that they caught when they pulled up, the gun was hot. But this is what I'm saying. Let's get let's, let's, let's check a little bit out. Let's go into this a little bit. All right. According to Tory's lawyer, see, because he's been getting bashed and, and accused and, and the heat is on him. So his lawyer came out, which is his job. That's what he's paid to do. And his lawyer could be the one responsible for this um, public opinion campaign calling her Megan Smollett. But check this out. According to Tory's lawyer, Police have located an independent witness, someone not connected to Tory Lanez or Megan. All right. They saw Megan fighting her friend before the shooting and says it came from her friend. Megan friend had the gun residue on her hands, says Tory Lanez lawyer. OK, boom. 
Now let's break this down with common sense, all right? This is from Tory Lane's lawyer. That's his job to lie for that man or speak up for him. He could be telling the truth. So if that's the case, if she was caught with residue on her hand, why her, her friend is not charged? When have you ever heard of somebody so-called busting a gun with residue on them and they are not charged? And why will her friend try to shoot her when she takes care of her friend, for one? For two, I can understand they had a fight, but why would she outright try to shoot that girl? And if she got residue, why she's not in jail? Why she has not been charged? We know the police don't let nobody get off with no shooting and no residue on them. That's an automatic conviction. But this is orchestrated by Tory Lane's lawyer. He said, she said. And then he says that they have an independent witness. Well, who was the witness and who was in them with the car when it happened? Other than the friend. So I'm trying to show you how they play in games. And this is also a show. It's a publicity stunt for both of them. Which I already knew. I already knew that part. I just didn't know who did what. And I still could say, this he say, she say. But if Tory Lanez did this, he is a sucker. And he's still a sucker for even being in the middle of some shit like this. You understand what I'm saying? So I'm not backtracking on what I said. I know what this represent. This represented men smoking women. So even if it is a big ritual, the ritual already played out. And since this happened, what's been happening? A lot of dudes been shooting their women, shooting girls violating women pushing women out of windows my point is all this represented that regardless of the outcome you got to understand something what i learned anything you see on national tv nine times out of ten when it's hype and spent and it keep going all all over the place but it don't make sense that's when you know it's, that's when, that's when you know it's a hoax that's when you know it's being finessed same way i told you nobody is going to jail for Dolph. Same way nobody went to jail for King Vaughn. Lil Timmy's still walking around. He's on Clubhouse. He's doing the most right now. But I'm not going to go on all of that because all of them are paid actors. So whether Tory did it or not, whether Megan wanted for publicity, who's to say? Either way, it's all a bunch of BS. And I don't care about none of them. But what I do care about is the agenda being pushed of men shooting women. That's the whole agenda. You see, don't lose, don't lose focus. The agenda is, is it promoted? Because anything they keep talking about put is promotion. So the promotion of this fact was a man shooting a woman. That's what was promoted. That's why that's what's going on. You did? So you got to understand it's going to be a lot of games, but Tory Lane's lawyer, because due to the backlash, I just told you about it came out in court that that man had a hot gun. We ain't hear nothing about no woman with no residue on her. We heard about him getting caught with a hot gun. So basically, the um, detectives are going to come in court and lie, risk their career to make up a story on this boy. But his lawyer says he has a, they have an independent witness. He got a witness that's not cool with neither one of them. And they saw the whole thing. And they say that it was her friend and she had residue on her hand. But she ain't, she's not on no charges. So... Anybody that knows the law knows this does not make no sense at all. Because I can even see if, okay, he say, she say, Tory get arrested for the gun and then the friend get arrested for the residue. Get it? And I also could see if, I can even see if Tory Lanez did it. I can understand this, right? And him and Megan agreed, okay, we don't want to, I know you sorry, you know, we don't need to mess up our career, but we go, we'll, we'll just pay my homegirl to say she did it and they could have did it like that and sure they could have been brought on the charge the residue on her got the bad it could have gave her a million a piece whatever a piece and she just took the charge and boom but look we know something going on because we hear about fake witnesses no names and this is his lawyer because tory lanes has been getting criticized but now his lawyer is trying to flip it on social media in the court of what public opinion and they calling her Megan Smollett and social media turned on Megan saying that she's a liar. So I'm showing you, remember I told you about the game. You're going to hear one thing. You're going to hear some opposite. You're going to get chaos, but guess what? You're never going to get a solid answer. I'm not going to go into that again. 
you're always going to get three different versions of one story just to have you confused. And, you know, the person that really cares about this, they're going to be all lost in the sauce. And meanwhile, both of them behind the scenes laughing, counting up money. That's how this thing works. So we're going to see what happens in this situation. But I want you to see, I want you to see how two incidents dealing with rappers, one beat up, one fighting and jumping, and the other one shooting involved. And I want you to see how you also seen making the news for graduating from school. But see, I'm starting to peep all of this out. They want a lot of people to go get them student loans as well. That's more debt. But we neither here nor there. Just see the game they playing. It's not hard to tell. You understand? Next situation. 13, I say 1,320 therapists has been asked, what are they hearing from their patients? All right, 1,320 mental health therapists have been asked, what are they hearing from their patients? And in every state they say they can't keep up with the demand from patients struggling with the disruptions of the pandemic life. And you know, we had conversations about this and I spoke about how what a lot of people are losing their mind due to this pandemic because they don't know how to handle this situation. A lot of people have never been forced to have to think for themselves or make certain decisions. And then again, a lot of grown-ups are not being used to treat it like kids, told they can't, they can't do this and they can't do that. And the things they used to do, they can't do it no more. So a lot of people are frustrated. Especially when this thing, when a lot, like when a lockdown first happened, you know, I'm gonna give you an example. When the first when the lockdown first happened, a lot of chaos started because the people that used to cheat or live double lives, they couldn't get out the house no more. They couldn't, they couldn't move how they wanted to move because it was, you know, everything was on lockdown. A lot of people that was living double lives before all this or doing whatever they want to do, they can't do it no more. A lot of people was forced to play house. A lot of people was forced to stay home and raise their kids because this is how it was designed to be. And you got to understand something. The mental health therapist says that people basically are breaking down and they are struggling with the disruptions of the pandemic life. Now, in reality, the people that always lived a, certain, a, a basic life, you know, went to work, came home. Those people are not being affected, meaning the people that was already happy with being in their crib, like they hit, like to lay low, always been behind the scenes. You know, they're not worried about this. See, most of the people is the people that was used to doing whatever they want to do or doing a lot of extra stuff. Those are the ones having tantrums you know like when you tell your child they can't play with the game no more you take the game from them you tell them they're on punishment and they, and they have a fit and they start acting up well a lot of adults have been acting up and mentally breaking down because they're not used to being told you can't no don't that's a part of it then another part of it is the scare the scare factor the fear factor people not knowing what's going on not knowing what's next Believing everything they hear, believing in the boogeyman, believing, you know, everything instead of looking within themselves, right? And trying to find answers on their own or even find peace within themselves. You'll see that everybody has been trying to find peace in everything else, like getting drunk, getting high, want to be around a whole lot of people. People have been forced to deal with themselves in this pandemic. And guess what? A lot of people don't want to do that. And they're not used to doing that. Some people are not used to being by themselves and they're going crazy. Some people hate themselves. Some people got to have validation. Somebody around them, co-signing them, bigging them up, giving them compliments. Some people just don't want to self-search. Those are some of the people tweaking out right now because you are forced to meditate and be by yourself and figure it out on your own. 
but people don't want to do that and we know that but that's why the therapist said a lot of people are suffering from mental health because they cannot function now me i'm a thinker so that's why this situation is just another thing for me to figure out on my own because i always have to have i always had to figure life out on my own a lot of people this is this is their first time going without a job they put so much work and they couldn't believe their career went down the drain they never had to learn how to make money or survive other than their job a lot of people are being tested the have and have nots you know a lot of people that was used to having they they, they, they like wow i don't have what i used to have no more and it's driving them crazy but on the other token, a lot of people in the past that didn't have, they started to do good now. You see? Like I just saw a story about a man who used to be an alcoholic. And he was um talking about how he stopped drinking. And he's he's a chef. He always been a chef, but he oh he was also speaking about how like he's clean now, and being that he is clean, he don't have to worry about going to jail no more. Mess. He said his life was in the gutter, and ever since he stopped drinking alcohol, his life has been perfect, and he's on the right track. He's a chef, a young, a young black man. He's a chef, so I'm showing you this man elevated in the pandemic because he or he been had to self search himself. You see, the people that that digging themselves, and, and the people that already went through pain and came to the, you know to terms with themselves and said, "Yo, I don't want to live that life no more. I want to change my ways." Those are the people that's doing better now. Those are the people that's good. Because see, some people use this whole lockdown as a chance to get their self back in order. Some people went to school. Some people changed their career. You know, some people made new friends. Some people changed their whole life around. Because guess what? Another thing, part of what I used this whole lockdown for, this was a time to get away from people you didn't need to be around anyway. See, but some people don't look at it like that. This was the time to cut off all the people you always wanted to cut off. Because now I got an excuse why I ain't got to see you no more. Now I got an excuse why you ain't in my face. And this is a time for self, self, you know, self evaluation. So you can prepare yourself for what's to come in the future. We can't worry about what's next. All you got to do is be prepared for anything and you'll make it. If you're a thinker, but if you like to cry, whine, why this, why that, why they doing this to us, why if you want to always speculate, you always going to be a victim. Because guess what? You can't always be a victim. You can't always be way, worried about what somebody got planned for you. That's why we say what? Those that have faith, those that know, are always going to be straight. And I don't got to make this a religious situation, but certain people know what I'm talking about. When you are spiritually inclined and you keep positive vibes within you and around you, you're always going to come out right. Things might seem foggy. Things going to seem like, you, you know what I'm saying, you can't make it. But when you really sit back and analyze and ask yourself, did you not make it through damn near every adversity that you had to go through in your life? It was just a matter of what? Time. So this things we going through now is nothing new. It's just a different type of, you know what I'm saying, trial we got to go through. And I've been going through things my whole life, so this ain't nothing. And I'm pretty sure a lot of y'all feel the same way. But um, the therapist said that, you know, they asked 1,320 therapists, and they said that the main thing they're hearing is how people can't keep up with the, um, the struggles and the disruptions of the pandemic life. You understand? And more, like I said, people from the hood, you know, they going through stuff their whole life. People under the poverty line been going through stuff the whole their whole life. So you got to understand, man, what don't break you only make you stronger. And this is just another situation. It's all on what you do with it. And I'm going to leave that at that. You know I'm saying. Moving right along. Check this out. Um. Day 11 in a Gislaine Maxwell trial. You know, the female Chester, the Chester uh, supporter, the queen of trafficking, the queen of, you know who I'm talking about. It's been day 11, you know, in her trial. And a couple of topics been brought up. All right. 
they saying that whoever is her defense witness must show their face. So it ain't like this Tory Lane situation where you can't just have somebody says something and they don't show their face. Her witnesses have to stand on trial and defend her in person. And we know a lot of people not going to want to do that. So, so far, they say she only got one person and the defense, her defense is going to open up with one of her former employees. And we know that's nothing, but I don't think nobody else going to come to her defense. And that's what I'm saying. They're going to they, they about to cook this woman. Because anybody that comes to her defense has to show their face in court. And nobody wants to be close to this case. And I'm pretty sure what else, y'all? Nobody wants to incriminate themselves. If they was there, they do know what time it is. So nobody's going to come to the defense. They also said that the judge in, involved with her trial on Wednesday, he went to Washington, D.C. The judge, you know what I'm saying? He went, he went to Washington, D.C. I don't know what for. Maybe he went to get some further insight on the law or get some, you know, opinions within the state. I don't, you know, within the country. I don't know. But they saying the lawyer, I mean, the judge of this case, he went to Washington, D.C. on Wednesday. So that's why I'm trying to show you how this case is very real. And this is just the, the top of the case. Meaning after they done with her, they're going to probably start snatching up a lot of people. And that's why they got it where people can't run. You can't run right now because that's why that's part of why everything was on lockdown. Because a lot of rich people that's been involved in these activities for years, they would have been ran up out of here. But even if you're rich, you got to be tracked down right now. You, you understand? They on you. They on your heels. They on people in the hood, but they on the rich, they on rich people too. The rich are being watched. That's all you got to know. You know what I'm saying? Her lawyer also tried to keep a romantic picture of her and Epstein from the jury seeing this picture. Her lawyer tried to come with that in court in her defense, basically saying no pictures of her and Epstein can be shown to the jury. So it's showing you how desperate she is and her lawyer to try to beat this case because she don't want to be even see the picture to be seen with her and Epstein. And she, once again, for those who don't know, she is being charged with helping Mr. Epstein to abuse teenage girls and young women, meaning it was teenagers under 18 and a young woman would be considered 18, 19. You know what I'm saying? So she was the key player in this because she was helping Mr. Epstein with the abuse of the teams. She was also what? Recruiting them, meaning she was finding them out, profiling them, um, knowing his preference, and um, making it happen. Also, what else? Grooming them, prepping them, getting them right getting their mind right for the situation, making them think it's okay, you know, taking them shopping, buying them whatever they want, letting them taste that lavish life, putting them on jets. That was her job because we know rich people or certain tricks, they don't, they can't show their face. They, they can't take that chance. Y'all also remember that TV show, How to Catch a Predator? That was on TV for the longest. So you have rich people like him, Epstein, that know better than put his face on certain things. So, that's what she played the role at. And we also have to look at how you have women like this everywhere around the world that would do anything to please their man. They would help their man, you know, indulge in all his fantasies. And this woman, that was her job to keep Epstein happy on that level. So that's why she's being charged with helping that man abuse teens and young woman, but she was doing the recruiting and the grooming, getting them right. And now she act like she don't want to be seen in the picture with that man. She, you know, they try to make it where her witnesses don't got to show their face. So that could have been a whole bunch of bogus people. But the judge said, nope, it's not going to work. And remember, she's facing 80 years and they on her neck. Moving right along. And I don't have no opinion on this at all. I'm just reporting the news. 
the FDA will permanently allow abortion pills by mail. That's what's been reported. So anybody that wants to, um, you know, deal with, uh, you know, an abortion, they can get the pill by mail. They don't have to go to an office. They don't have to show their face. And that's what's up with that. You know what I'm saying? I'm not touching on that at all. I have no opinion on that at all whatsoever. I'm just breaking the news that to show you what I said before, the world is going in a different direction. That's why they got an AB pill now. Things are changing. Another thing, which is a big story. And this is, I don't have no opinion on this neither because this goes a whole lot of different ways as well. The U.S. ends payout talks for immigrant families under the Trump border policies. Trump wanted to pay the immigrants who were separated from their family $450,000 apiece. And your boy Joe said, nope, that ain't going down. Now, this goes a lot of different ways. Now, we know that um, the borders were set up to stop people from coming into the country unannounced. It mainly was for criminal activity. A lot of the gangs were just coming in the country any kind of way. But some good people got caught up in this madness and families got separated. So what Trump was going to do to, uh, you know, show empathy, apologize, some might say it was to cover it up. He was going to pay the families 450000 per family. Now, one thing I will say, we know people in the hood have been going through certain things like this their whole life, a lot of violations, and people in the hood was never going to get no 450000 from nobody. So let's be real. Even though we did get stimulus checks and some people got PPP loans, that was under your boy Trump watch too. You understand? But Biden said no. But in my opinion, one of the reasons he said no is because we know this would have made Trump look good. And he's not going to co-sign nothing Trump put out there. You understand? But for all those who did get caught up in that border situation, Trump wanted to pay each member, each family member, you know, each person that each family that got broken up, he wanted to pay them 450000 And the boy Joe said, nope. Now, I will say this. I don't blame Joe for that one. You know what I'm saying? I don't. Because... People like me, I'm one of the people that's late getting their taxes back. You understand? I worked two and a half years straight. And I only missed like one day. So that means I worked the whole year and then didn't really miss a day. And I didn't get my taxes back for 2020 yet. Even though they say it's going to be interest on some of that money. I'm just stating the fact that you got people that's here in the country ain't even getting their money. You understand? You got people that you might have was do a raise before this whole thing, this whole pandemic started, but you you got laid off from your job. So my point is this: a lot of people suffered this year. So I'm not going to knock Joe for not giving them that four hundred fifty thousand, but he should get them something, in my opinion. You understand? So like I said, this this is politics, and. It's not for me to judge because it's out of my league. I'm just giving my opinion. You know, Trump wanted to get in the bag, you know, for the discrepancies. And Joe said no for the discrepancies. Not on his watch. You understand? So this goes a lot of ways, man. But we need that bread right now. We all need we all need that bread. We just need a percentage of that. We don't got to get 450,000. Just give each one of us 45,000. Even even forty five hundred, we can work with that right now. If it's free, you know what I'm saying. We could do we could, we could do some things with that. Pay some bills, you know what I'm saying. Things in order. We need that bread. You know what I'm saying. But that's the situation with that, man. That payout is dead. That's that's not going down. And um, if I'm not mistaken, man, that's that's everything for today, man. That's everything for this show. For those that just pulled up, rewind to the beginning, man. It's a lot of different things being spoke about, but I want y'all to see how there's a lot of games being played, a lot of distractions, a lot of misconceptions, misinformation, and people don't know what to do. You know what I'm saying? So I try to get some type of clarity along with some entertainment. You understand? So we can all get through the day and get through these times, right? 
because like I always tell y'all, a better day is coming. So don't get depressed. Don't think it's over. It's only over for certain people that don't want to change. Maybe look at it like this. The things you used to do, some of them wasn't right. That's over with. You understand? Or the things you used to do that don't work no more, maybe that's over with. Look at it like a bad relationship. You know, it might have started out good, but once it goes bad, it's over with. It's nothing you could do, but what? Move on to a different situation. What? Look at your life like that, you know? If you're going through some things right now and you're not doing good like you want to do, or you feel like you have somebody else's mercy, this is the time to change your situation. You know what I'm saying? It's only two things you could do. Either you can go up or you can go down, period. That's all I'm saying. But like I said, I'm not here to judge nobody. I'm not here to push no agendas. You know what I'm saying? All I do is live my life. And if I can, if I can, you know, spread my opinion and give different perspective on things, that's my job. That's what I do. You know what I'm saying? I do this for nothing. Because I'm always always been wanting to speak my mind. So, like I said, one last thing is the, the uh the storms. Now, this one thing I want to touch on, and I'm gonna be up out of here. Now, it's mighty funny that the other day, I could have sworn the case with George Floyd was taking place. And if if I'm not mistaken, that's in Minnesota, right? So it's mighty funny how the Minnesota trial, you know, with Derek, the man that put his knee in George Floyd's neck, and he was like, mama, that happened in Minnesota, right? And then an intense storm spawns tornadoes. And Minnesota has seen its first tornado in the month of December. They also said that the winds have went up to 107 miles per hour in Lamar, Minnesota. Also in Colorado, tractor trailers was blown over. And they also say all together is 500,000, which is a half a million people without power. As 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 we as I speak right now, I always told y'all whenever they want to shut everything down, all they gotta do is turn the power off. When your power go off, it's nothing you could do. You can't go to the ATM. You dig? You have no hot water. You can't cook. Your stove electric. You shut down. That's how easy it is if they want to shut you down. But these storms have been tearing up the Midwest, and some people say it's the work of different things. Some say machinery, some say a spiritual being, but either way, a tornado has been tearing up the Midwest and those people are going through it. And it's mighty funny, Minnesota got smacked with one of the biggest tornadoes in December ever in the history of Minnesota, the same exact week of the George Floyd trial. So take that in for a minute and just see what's going on. You know what I'm saying? But definitely, y'all leave y'all leave y'all comments. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, hit the all notifications bell because I will be coming with a lot of random stuff, and you gotta be in the loop. You dig? And like I said, tell a friend to tell a friend. But definitely, salute to the chat, salute to the family, salute to everybody that pulled up. I appreciate y'all. You dig? So, so yo, salute to all the love I've been getting. In the comment section to all the people y'all know who y'all are and like i told y'all i will be shouting y'all out as time go on and i will be doing a live and i say uh, a couple more days i'm gonna turn up just know that so also don't forget to tune in the grown man talk with me and my man p grown man p our new time is 8 p.m monday through friday but like i said we in the fourth quarter and a lot of stuff we really got planned is for the new year we're going to come hard. I'm coming hard for the I know. And I'm going to keep coming with this entertainment and keep coming with that little bit of light. You feel me? Darkness. You dig? And with that note, y'all know what time it is. It's the For No Fame Prime Time Episode 63. And I'm up out of here. One.